Well, people from across the globe will flock to Times Square tonight for the largest New Year's Eve party in the world. New York is known for being the city that never sleeps, and a recent study found nightlife is a growing part of the city's economy. In fact, nightlife is a $35 billion business creating 299,000 jobs and bringing in $697 million in local tax revenue. Ariel Pallets, the senior executive director of the New York City Office of Nightlife, joins us now. Welcome, Ariel. Thank you now, so much. You have much. a pretty coveted job in this city, I would say. <laughs> it's a pretty cool job to have. Yeah, not a lot of people know exactly what your role is as the nightlife mayor. Um, can you explain a little bit about what you do? Sure. Well, I am the first senior executive director of the first ever Office of Nightlife for New York City. And what that means is we're basically a liaison, a central point of contact between the city, the nightlife industry, the community, and the culture of nightlife. So for tonight, New Year's Eve, I would imagine it's a very big night for you and for the whole, the whole uh, city of New York. Why do you think so many people, besides the Times Square ball drop, come to New York City for, for New Year's Eve? Well, I mean, over 60 million people come to New York all year long, mm -hmm. and New York City is the greatest city in the world, tonight and every night. And so, really, I think the, the energy that New York City has and the diversity of the experiences that you can have, and uh, there's really something for everyone. And of course, this is a global celebration where everybody is celebrating the end of the year and the end of the decade, and what better place to do it than the center of the world. So sometimes clubs and bars may be at odds with other with the communities that they're in. How do you help to bridge that gap and help that you know uh, relationship be a little bit smoother? Well, that's really one of the primary purposes of the Office of Nightlife is to make sure that nightlife works for everyone, right? For the venue operators and for the workers, the patrons. The and as well as the residents. And the way that we do that is really through mediation, education, and communication. Primarily in the past, it's been primarily a, an enforcement-based approach, but now we really see that by bringing people together, humanizing the relationships between the industry and the residents and helping them directly communicate and to make agreements in order to coexist in a better way. And so you were saying kind of before we started how you before this were on a community board in, in the East Village. So you were kind of on the other side of that for a while, right? Well, I also owned a nightclub in the East Village there you for go. 10 years. <laughs> and simultaneously, I was on a community board for six years. And so we really do have to realize that this isn't an us and them. New York is a day and night, 24-hour city. And we really need to learn how to support, respect each other's right to exist and to really communicate and mediate between each other so that we can coexist here together. And that's really what our office is focusing on right now. Yeah. What, what I find so interesting also is that since you're the first nightlife mayor here in New York City, you kind of get to set the precedence for how a lot of this goes, yeah. right? So is there anything, I guess, that you're looking ahead to to, to accomplish in the, in the new decade? <laughs> sure. I mean, we, because we are the first office, we really have the opportunity to redefine what nightlife means, right? A lot of people have this idea. It's just about going out and having a drink and a good time. But we know that, again, as you had mentioned, this is a huge economic driver for the city. It also is really supporting local businesses and New Yorkers jobs as well as the cultural creative community that creates cultural movements in this city we also know that it's an incubator for marginalized communities we have issues regarding social justice and we know that this is a ecosystem in which all of New York really participates and deserves the support respect and um, really the the attention that this office now brings to it all right, Ariel Pals, thank you so much for being here. Thank and you. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year. To you. <laughs> thank you.